10 digit grid, November uniform, 6731209571, over. Hey man, this is Hitman 2. Be advised, enemy foot bubbles to our east have optics on us and appear to be armed with an RPG tube. I'll copy. Hitman 2, this is Hitman. You are approved to engage those targets. Solid copy. Hitman 2 2 Echo 5, Romeo, this is Hitman 2. You are approved to engage. Roger that. On target. Fire. Hitman, Hitman, this is Hitman 2. We've suppressed an RPG team. How copy, over. Our objective is the MSR on the north side. We're seizing it ahead of RCT-1's assault through the city. It's the only way out of town. We're the blocking force. I know this looks like some Black Hawk Down shit we're doing, but we'll be the ones initiating contact, not the bad guys. Sir, the main weapon on your point vehicle is unreliable. Given the prevailing climatic conditions, using this lubricant is like trying to buttfuck a virgin underage bucket whore with chalk. And KY is clearly called for, sir. You'll have to deal with it, Sergeant. We have four more towns to assault through today. For well, logistics, join the army. Marines make do. Present for you. LSA. Scam some off the guys in RCT-1. Sir, not to get homoerotic about this, but I could kiss you. Most people in America right now probably think of Iraq as a dangerous country. Now, if I were to stand up, I might get killed. But to us, behind this wheel, it's pretty safe. So to us, Iraq is a safe country, right here. Feel pretty safe. Do you feel safe? Pretty safe, I guess. See? It's all relative. RCT-1 are taking fire from across the river. Shit! Marine Artie! That was friendly! Sir, what's going no. on there? What the fuck is going on here? You weren't on your comms. Calling in a fire mission. Sir, I don't like this. These two get their fucking heads together. It's fucking dangerous. It's the oldest play in the book. Officers calling in danger close fire missions to get medals. Lieutenant Fink, you need to square these shitbirds away. You need to NJP that man. Sir, tell me exactly what you're doing. I'm calling in a fire mission on a hunter-killer RPG team. There is no RPG team. I called it in. My men destroyed it. Lieutenant, it doesn't matter if we're right or wrong. You and your men can't disobey orders. An officer who does needs to be relieved of his command. Sir? I'm merely trying to pass you accurate information. There is no hunter-killer RPG team. What is your order, sir? I'm calling in a fire mission. At Papa Quebec, 059-098-038 degrees, 200 meters. Aye, aye, sir. Steel rain. Steel rain, this is Hitman. Fire mission, over. Three wise men, you must have traveled far. Our platoon commander's on watch. How fucking righteous is that? Well, I see the three of you coming together, I get to thinking there's some kind of problem. Oh no, Gunny, nothing like that. Well, we're just concerned about this thing with the LT and the captain. Word is he in case of case we're going after the LT for grabbing the radio out of his hand when he's trying to call in danger close artillery on a bullshit target. And well, sir, we just want to say that if it comes to the CO charging you with insubordination, Shut the fuck up and do your fucking jobs. Whatever happens between Captain Schwetchy and myself is none of your fucking business. Hitman, Hitman, small arms fire to our 3 o'clock, 250 meters out.
all alone. And to our south, we've got an entire hostile town between us and closest friendlies. And 40 kilometers to our north, we got a full mechanized division up there in Alcut. And there are 70 of us, Brad, holding this road. Gentlemen, our AO is now Mesopotamia, land between the Euphrates, the Tigris, cradle of civilization. In America's unprofessional. If you have a nickname for an officer, I don't want to know it. Is everyone on your team getting some shut-eye? Since they brought us pizza at Matilda, my whole team hasn't slept. It's what, 30 hours now? And we don't know what's coming. You gotta rotate guys, get them some sleep. He's just a boy, and I'm just a girl. Can I make it any more obvious? We are in love, haven't you heard? Now we rock each other's world. Hold your fire. No, Saddam. No, Saddam. No, no. Looks like you won some hearts and minds, sir. And some tongue. Cut. I got no muzzle flashes. Rudy, go! Oh, good. Level go! Bounding! Set! All right, Pope, go. Bounding! Set! Reporter, you ready? Yes! Go! Sir. Reporter, what the fuck was that? Serpentine shell, serpentine. You know, the movie, In Lust. Peter Falk tells Alan Arkin, always oh, run in a serpentine fashion. I was running evasively. Next time we come under fire, run in a straight line, you'll live longer. Have a full, happy life of betraying us and others with your vena lies. <laughs> he put jihad as passport control. That's some wicked shit. Some evil doing shit if you ask me, man. Is jihadists to attack us? Isn't this the exact opposite of what we want to have happen here? It's all on that guy's passport. Two weeks ago, he was still a student in Syria. He wasn't a jihadi until we came to Iraq. We have rolled through this country fucking things up. And now we have to show these people what we liberated them for. It's bizarre. All of them driving in and out of the city like it's normal. Hitman actual to Hitman 2? Hitman 2 actual. Hey, uh, Godfather's saying it's time for us to be more aggressive. More aggressive? Godfather says it's time for us to increase our presence. Sir, so given the level of disorder in the city at this time, and given our lack of a cohesive mission, I'm gonna have my men remain in a defensive position until dawn, when we'll move on the park. Negative. Godfather's... Hitman having assessed the situation from close observation, I'm gonna keep my men in a defensive posture until dawn. How copy? Hitman 2, I say again. They want me to be more aggressive. Send the men into this. For what? So I can come home with 21 men instead of 22? For what?
Brad, we were the fucking first boots on the ground in the American invasion of Mesopotamia. And you get your men out alive. Might be sad about not getting your mission, but for me, I gotta tell you, I'm glad this is over. One other thing, more cat holes. This fucking pogue camp we're in has a legit slit trench latrine. Really. That's my recon mission, then. <laughs>